So, um, welcome guys to the uh, guide to your call. And uh, let's wait on for a few minutes till more people join in. And in the meanwhile, do put on your videos and tell me a little about you. Videos on, please. I can't see you. I don't know who I'm talking to. Hi, Gayatri. You want to share something about you? I can't hear you. One minute. Let me unmute you first. Let me unmute you guys while other people join in. Let's wait for a few people to join in while you all share with me. Okay, tell me. Yeah, now you can hear. Yeah, actually, I'm, you can't still hear me. You can hear me now. I see. I can't hear you at all. Can Can all of you hear me? Just type yes in the chat box. There's a chat box. Just type yes if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I see. I can't hear you at all. Can you check your mic? Yeah, I've unmuted and, my mic. Um, so, do you all know me or do you all wish to have a little introduction of mine? If you wish to have a little introduction, just type in bring it on, B-I-O in the chat, bring it on. Or show me a thumbs up. I-O-N, what's I-O-N? I said B-I-O. Type in BIO in the chat box if you wish to know a little more about me and this call. Okay, BIO. Unmute yourself and. Okay, something over here. Mm. Okay, guys, now that you all are unmuted, finally, tell me, am I, I'm going to ask you a question and you can either put it on the chat or you can give me a thumbs up. So how many of you are aware of access consciousness or have done some program or some workshop with access? If you have done a program with access, type yes, Y-E-S, or show me a thumbs up. And can I have the videos on, please? So Gayatri has not done anything. What about the others? Pallavi? Yes. Awesome. And um, Ketan Divine Hub? Is it a yes or a no? I don't think he's there online. Anyway, so Gayatri, you have not done any program of access, and this is your first first thing with access. And how did we get so lucky to have you on this program? So your Gayatri, you is a facilitation initiative by me, and um, I'm Mehek. I have been a relationship and children's counselor for good eight to ten years, and now I am a certified facilitator with access consciousness which is a crazy, weird, wacky modality, which has some crazy tools, which work. The tools are really simple. Some are stupid and crazy, yet they work. They help you create your life, change whatever you wish to change in your life. And what else? I mean, I have taught at management schools for a few years and this is my full-time hobby. I love doing this and that's why I'm here with you all. So let's go to your question straight away. I need to know sometime I get angry a lot. I don't understand how to deal with it. Awesome. So Gayatri. Yeah. Let me tell you. 
that 98% of our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings don't belong to us. We are psychic people, all of us, telepathic, psychic. We have an ability to perceive our surroundings, whatever it is. If I go into a place which is happy, I become happy. If I go into a space which is sad, like somebody's death, we become sad. If we go into a room which is full of angry people, we start perceiving their anger too. Also, um, the other thing is that many a time, many a time, this anger comes from stored emotions inside us. An ability when we know that we are capable of doing things and we have an ability towards something, but we are not choosing it. We are just waiting. We are just sitting. Why do we wait or sit? Because we have a conditioning sometimes that you, you cannot do this. How many times you have been told by your parents that no, you're not allowed to do this. As a child, when you were very small. You've been told, yeah? Many a times, a lot, a lot. Yeah, so the other thing is that um, we uh, facilitators and I am really very, very psychic. So most of the answers, you may feel that how does she know it or how is she, it's just that I tap into you and get what you, what is really happening inside you. Yeah. And the clearings and whatever I say comes from there. So we are told as a child and even as adults, that you are not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do this, and yet there is an inner knowing that we all have that yes, this is the perfect thing for me to do, this is the right thing for me to do. And yet we are constantly told that no, you cannot do this, you cannot do this, you cannot do this. So when we curve our emotions, our feelings, our uh, abilities, they get stored inside us and spurt out as also, when we are in an environment where there are lots of angry people, lots of people who are expressing anger or they have stored anger, like we have stored somebody else's also. So we perceive that anger and it comes out. Now, there are lots of things that we have for anger management and maybe you have attended a few programs on anger management and people do say count up to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and it's gone or distract yourself and it's gone or and these are all management tools so if you go on my youtube link and i'll see if i can just send it across to you so on my youtube link you will there is a instruction video where i have spoken about uh, or maybe i'll just post it on the group later so where i have spoken about the difference between counseling and facilitation I have been a counselor for 8 to 10 years and what we do in counseling is we give you remedies or techniques or we give you small, small, small ways of managing, managing your life, managing your anger, managing your relationship and uh, we tell you tips and techniques. If one doesn't work, try another one, then combine or try the third one and so on. And one of these techniques is count up to 10 or distract yourself or engage yourself in something which is fun or many, many, many others you might have heard. Now, what we do here in facilitation? In facilitation, we go inside and we clear it from your subconscious mind. And that is the difference in counseling and facilitation. Counseling helps you to manage stuff, handle stuff. Whereas facilitation helps you to change stuff, bring the change in you. So the first tool that I would like to give you is, and it's very simple. You may feel it's stupid. How can it happen? But try it and let me know on the group or maybe next week you can join me again here. The tool is who does this belong to? Who does this belong to? This is an access consciousness tool and it is copyrighted by them. It's very simple, but it's an awareness of First, there is an awareness that this does not belong to me. I am just perceiving it. One is saying, I am angry. The other is saying, 
I am perceiving someone else's anger. So automatically you have detached it. It's come out. It's not you. It's out of you. You are just sensing or perceiving that there is anger. Yeah. Are you getting? Are you with me? The moment you bring it out of you, the moment you have a sense of awareness that this is not me. Like, okay, let me ask you a very simple question. As a person, Gayatri, as a person, do you like anger or do you like Yeah, you don't like it? You can, you can chat with me. You can unmute yourself. And you can chat with me, Gayatri. Or you can um, So, what do you like? Do you like being angry? Definitely not. Otherwise, you wouldn't have this question. So, you realize that there is an anger which you are constantly in. And you wish to deal with it. That is step one. That I get angry and I don't like it. And I don't understand how to deal with it. That means you wish to change it. That means you don't like being angry. So what do you like being? Oh, she's gone off. And this happens many a times when uh, we are doing facilitation. Because when something is going to change in your universe. When something is going to change in your universe. The mind plays tricks. It does not allow the change. And then maybe there is a disconnection or you check out. You are not present. So how many times are we present with what we are saying or doing? Are we present? Like right now I'm present with you. I'm not bothered. Is the food cooked? My son is gone for class or not? So I am 100% with you guys. But how many times we are not doing that? We are not being present with whatever activity we are doing. Whether it is bathing, whether it's cooking, whether it's business, whether it's work, whether it's uh, just a jog or whatever. We are not being able to be present. We, we check out. We are somewhere else. Energetically, uh, in the mind, we are somewhere else. We are not 100% here and when we are not 100% here can we really can we really 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 give our best to it how many times we heard that you know you must give your best give your best but it's you are not there only you're somewhere else you're distracted or you have mind chatter or you have negative thoughts or you're thinking about something else how can you be present and this is one of the most phenomenal takeaways from access consciousness it helps you to be present how? Just by clearing your space, clearing all the old thoughts, feelings, emotions that are stored in us. How do we do that? We just run bars. So for people who, have, who uh, do not know what is access bars, access bars is basically 32 points on our head where we touch them and we release all thoughts, feelings, emotions. And things start changing in our universe. And um, I hope... Okay. So... Gayatri is saying that my daughter started crying and she had to leave. She just messaged me. So what we can do is we will respond to her question and she can hear it on the recording. So the question was that I get angry and how do I handle it? This is, and what she can do is, what you can do Gayatri is ask who does this belong to? Does this belong to? You know that it's not yours. You know you really love to have peace, love to have joy, love to have ease in your life, and anger destroys all of that. So the moment you ask who does this belong to, you created a separation. That no, this is not mine. You have recognized that this is not mine. It is coming from somewhere else. And the moment you ask who does this belong to, you don't have to go into the answer of it. That where has it come from? You just move it out of your who does this belong to and then send it back to the sender with consciousness attached. Send it back to the sender with consciousness attached. 
send it back to the sender with consciousness attached why do we say send it back to sender with consciousness attached the moment we say that it goes back to where it got created to whom it got created and it doesn't get stuck there because we have attached consciousness to it so that person also receives the consciousness around it and lets it go in effect you heal yourself you change your anger plus others also so every time you feel anger ask who does this belong to cool awesome so does anyone else have any question and uh, you ask a question please 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 show me your faces show me your faces people and feel free to ask a question hmm my video also turned off because nobody is showing me their faces are there any questions or is this all for today that you all required anger management and it may seem to you all that how can it be possible it may seem to you all that how is it possible that just by asking this one little question and my anger will change but do try it do try it and um, see what changes for you because as i said 99% of thoughts feelings emotions don't belong to us we pick it up from our environment just imagine if everyone on this planet had this tool and had this awareness that this does not belong to me and everyone starts doing who does this belong to this how how phenomenal it would be how less angry would this planet be how much less anger would there be on this planet and actually this anger the emotion of hatred is you know this emotion that is there it destroys things so there is this experiment that was done by a japanese scientist where they took a glass of water and they start started giving it hate kept saying that you're horrible you're not nice i don't like you and you know things like that all hate words and over a period of 24 hours that water started turning black there was dark particles created inside that and another glass of water where this are the people around the water they were the monks who started blessing it and blessing it there were beautiful snow crystals inside it so you know it's the energy behind everything that we do anger has an energy which is very negative and anything that you do with anger shows up in a way which is not contributive so what if we could instead of anger spread love we could truly be the peaceful loving energy that we are and believe it guys you all anger is such a common thing you all must have seen it in your families one person or two persons in your family might definitely have this anger issue and know that it is actually an ability go and share this tool with them that you know because they act, nobody likes to be angry and they know that it's an issue nobody likes that they have anger nobody likes when they are angry they like to sort out things amicably they like to have ease or peace in their life but yet when the situation comes they just cannot handle it and they burst out and yes we have this phenomenal one day class called the access bards class if you would like to know more and if you would like to get your bards run which i was just mentioning that when we get our bards run so many things change in our universe we also become way less angry people we become much much lesser um lesser anger more ease more joy more smiles in your life so if you would like to try that if you would like to change your anger 
totally do show up at one of our bards classes the next one coming up is coming. Of this month 25th of April. okay there's a question in the chat i don't know this person's name because the name isn't showing the question is if somebody does not listen to you like your partners they don't listen to you any energy pull or something to draw their attention towards us any barrier down awesome so um i don't know you but i it seems that you know something of access consciousness because smriti hi smriti um you have written words which make me feel that you know something about energy so if somebody is not listening to you one first thing that you need you need to see is what is the need for you to put across your thoughts or get somebody to do something for you what is the need see we are all aware beings we are all aware we are all aware of what is the reality for you what is the truth for you now truth is a very interesting word very interesting word where we live in a reality where there are court cases and legal issues and all and there are fights and discussions and debates over what is what was the truth and then there is a punishment or a reward accordingly it also is true that everyone's truth is different they say no there is my version your version and the truth and the ultimate truth is that everyone is aware everyone has a certain type of conditioning whether it's your husband whether it's you whether it's your parents or your children they all have a different type of conditioning and based on that conditioning they behave so what can you do about this tell me one acknowledge that they have this conditioning oops what happened to this ah what's happening here everything is changing cool so first acknowledge that everyone has some sort of conditioning and based on that conditioning or that programming that person is behaving when a child is born he brings in some conditioning from his past lives plus the conditioning which he receives in this life which is very strong whether it is the parenting the schooling the education system the friends and lots of other you know external influences that we have the city that we live in the country that we live in all of that conditions us now that you live in india there is a conditioning about with respect to indian husbands or indian wives and they follow a certain pattern so are you willing to give away your conditioning now can we do that so let's do a clearing for that now what's a clearing a clearing is a magical wand you know what's a magic wand a magic wand is something the magician uses to change things a rabbit turns into flowers yeah have you seen a magician work he just does something something and something else shows up so that's exactly what this clearing does this is called the clearing statement and it is available for you to hear and understand at the clearing statement.com and uh, dr dan here who is the co-founder of access consciousness is explaining it over there i will just type down the name of the site so you can check it later the clearing statement.com and the clearing statement will change the energy of what's happening here okay so smriti is asking about financial partners and business partners and it will work for everyone so let's talk about any type of partner it's not only about your your uh, marital or spouse so everywhere 
everywhere you have embodied the stratification of being an indian can we just try and create it all right wrong good bad pot talk all nine shots boys and beyond you just have to say a yes whenever i do a clearing guys you just have to say a yes you have to be in receiving of that clearing and things will start changing in your universe so everywhere you have defined yourself everywhere you have embodied the stratification of being an indian can we please destroy and uncreate it all right wrong good bad pot talk all nine shots boys and beyond everywhere you have embodied the stratification of being the lesser one not the stronger one can we destroy and uncreate that right wrong good bad pot talk all nine shots boys and beyond and these crazy words that we are talking about these crazy words are nothing but the clearing statement which is explained on the clearing statement.com so yes one is doing this clearing second is yes you can pull their energy what is an energy pull what is an energy pull now one for an energy pull to work you have to drop all your points of view you have to drop all your judgments about them so the moment you have a judgment that okay this person is not listening to me is a judgment it's a conclusion whenever there is a judgment or a conclusion change cannot happen for change to occur when you wish to have change and for change to occur you have to come out of judgment out of conclusion no wasted outcome and just ask for the magic to show up how just ask don't expect it to come in a particular way don't expect it to show up on a particular date don't expect it to be done from certain person just ask for what you would like to have just ask for that with no point of view who will do it for me how will it happen when will it happen who will contribute who will not contribute which is the way it will show up yeah so first is drop your judgments drop your wasted outcomes and then we do an energy pull now what is an energy pull energy pull is nothing but attracting people energy uh, work business anything to you and how does it happen have you seen a small child a one year old or a two year old a toddler who's in a room in a big room or on the airport or you know somewhere where um, no one else is there Ah, oh, sorry. Somewhere where there are lots of other people. Okay. <laughs> But are we? All the people over there have their entire focus on that child, as if there is no one else. It's just that child, and they are watching that child. Is that child is attracting our energy so much that we cannot look anywhere else? That is an energy pull. That is an energy pull. an ad promotion is an energy pull sign boards are energy pulls so energy pulls are not something special why am i telling you all this because they are not something that do, that you all have not seen around you we all have an energy pull when we walk into a party dressed at our best looking hot sexy and we walk in in the best clothes best shoes all your makeup and everything do head turn yes that is an energy pull so now how are you going to use this energy pull consciously so unconsciously we are all doing it all the time what if we can use it at our call what if we can be the energy pull i said the word be the energy pull what if we can be the energy pull at demand when i wish to be it i will be it how do you be it just ask i wish to pull this person's energy and just say energy pull energy pull and energy pull and you will attract their attention yeah would that be fun for you you just pull the energy you don't you don't go into how you just pull their energy Cool. Is there any other question? 
or Smriti, are you clear with this? So we have few churning and two, three people have left the call. It seems they had what they had to have. So is there any other questions? Mm, there are three new messages. Let me just scroll down. Some money issues. Do we have to set an intention or putting people's picture in mind? So you can do a general energy pull or a specific energy pull. That's your choice. You can pull energy of specific people or you can pull energy of whatever you wish to have. For example, if I wish to travel to US, I will pull energy of anyone, everyone who can contribute to it. That's the general one. Then the visa office, the airline office, the hotels, the places I'm going to stay, the places I'm going to visit, all of that energy gets pulled and comes into our universe. But if you have a friend who is in US and you wish to stay with them, then you pull their energy, specific, keep pulling their energy. So you can do it both ways. And uh, there are these amazing energy pulls which are uploaded on my YouTube channel. You can listen to them and uh, share them. The channel um, is by my name, Mehek Nani, And I'll send you a link on the group, on the Your Patreo group. And just uh, play them and receive how it works. You'll know how an energy pull works and you can create your own one too. Yeah. Hmm. Some money issues. Um, yeah, so if there are money issues, you can pull the energy of money, irrespective of from where it comes. Whether it's a business partner who's giving it, or is it someone else who's giving it back, or uh, is it coming from another source of income, etc. It could be anything. Just pull the energy of money. Awesome. Manju, do you wish to ask anything? Ashwati, do you have anything more to say? Manju, do you have any questions? Um, hello? Smriti is saying if you want to get your work done from those partners, yeah, just pull, your, pull their energy. Keep pulling their energy like crazy. Keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling till they are willing to receive you. Oh, there's so much in the universe about this. Everything that brought up can be destroyed and created. All right, wrong, good, bad, poison, and short, poison, beyond. Okay. Next question. Hi, Preeti. Please, girls, please, ladies, switch on your videos. I can't see y'all, and it's not fun for me. Is there any other question? You're welcome, Smriti. Is there any other question from you ladies? Or should we end the call for today over here? Hello? I'm going to call out till three. Hello? If you have any question, unmute yourself and ask or put it on the chat before we end the call. Hello? So here we go. One, two, and three. And we'll end the call there. Preeti, you can catch the uh, replay on the Yoga ITO group. It's, uh, it will be posted before tonight. So you can watch the replay. And we had a nice chat about anger and a few other things today. So if you wish to hear that, catch it over there. Catch Hello. It, catch it on the replay. Bye-bye, girls. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I shall send you a link to the um, to my YouTube channel and you can subscribe there. Bye bye. Bye. Preeti, it's on the Your Guide to You group. The Your Guide to You group on which uh, from which you receive the link to join the Zoom call. It's there on that same link. 